on the last episode of, of Dyson Men Into the Weird West. A long forgotten plan to use Cletus Jackson as bait to lure the replicants out of hiding was suddenly and violently realized by acting Sheriff Clint Colwood. They knocked him unconscious before having a plan <laughs> and then bodily threw him from the sheriff's office in hopes of attracting attention from the plant replicants. Fortunately, it worked. <laughs> Unfortunately, the town doctor was left to bleed to death in oh. the doctor's office um, as they tracked the replicants. However, successfully tracking the replicants to the O'Leary farm. And that is where we pick up tonight's episode of Up Dyson Men, The Weird West. Assholes. To be fair, he's in a doctor's office, so maybe he's fine. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe he can stop his own yeah. bleeding. He's in a doctor's office. Yeah, it's the safest place from the top. Yeah. <laughs> so, you guys follow the replicants as they lead Cletus back towards the O'Leary farm. They lead him, they, on the cart, take him directly, not towards the structures, into the cornfield. As you follow, you observe from a distance all of what I described to EJ. So eventually, you stop struggling. I just listen to the rhythmic turning of the wheels. The replicants don't speak at all as they drive you towards your destination. In the shadows of the late afternoon, evening, you finally arrive and are picked bodily up, steps down from the cart, walk 10 paces, 20 paces, 30 paces, you lose count. Then suddenly you're forced to your knees. Oh no. And the bag is pulled off of your head. And we're there with a cake surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday! There is about ten people standing around you in like a semicircle in the middle of a cornfield. And in the center of this ring of people, like right in front of you, where you're looking up, you look up, there is a, what at first looks just like a tangled mass of dried plant vegetation matter. And then you start to see it's humanoid in shape on a cross in a very Jesus style pose it's Jesus. in a very vague Jesus. humanoid shape of just tangled plant matter kind of looks like a scarecrow but very desiccated and dried out and you're just left there and it's just silence you do notice there's an eerie lack of anything. No crickets, no birds. It's just dead silence as all the replicants look up at this effigy, kind of. One of them pushes you in the shoulder towards it. You're kind of on your knees, but they kind of push you in the back. Go ahead and roll persuasions. <laughs> what? I got the I got the yeah. thing in my mouth. Go ahead and roll persuasions. <laughs> Four. Four. One of the replicants removes the gag. <sighs> All right, y'all. What, 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 
what, what, what is going on here? Serve. I don't know. Look up at the plant effigy. S serve in what way? What, you want me to look at... Uh, look at the scarecrow or something? Fix. Oh, that's what they want. Alright, uh... Looks like he's got... Wait, can I notice this thing? Go ahead any, and roll... Any further? Go, yeah, go ahead and roll notice. Oh... Uh, six. Six! It... You get closer, it's... A scarecrow in the sense that it has, like... It almost looks like a... A cloak of, like, burlap thrown over, like, hay with a with a set of trousers shredded, tied up in, like, a almost like a mohawk of, like, dried, nasty hay coming out. The whole thing... But the whole thing has the texture of a dried corn husk. Right. All right. Very reminiscent of the plant that you healed. You guys the big rock. want me to fix this thing. Now I am obliged to try to help in any which way I can. Does anyone have any sort of equipment on them? Looking for maybe, you know, a sewing needle and some thread so I can get to work. And try and help serve and fix you this thing. Feel for you the guys. energy, the vibe changes around you as they start. It starts to get very hostile. I, I don't know what you guys are expecting. Heal. From me. Heal. Y yes. Yes. Heal. I, I am going to attempt to heal. I need certain things to try and make this. Happen. By the way, you guys, I, if I'm not mistaken, you killed the only doctor that was in town. Why didn't you ask him to heal? Lie. What do you mean? You healed the other. Healed the other? What are you referring to? They all look back up at the plant and scarecrow look at that. All right. Which That's when you look down into the at the base of it and notice that it's kind of wrapped around this the stakes that it's on, and these vines throw down into the ground, right below where you can see. Right. All right. If I'm if I'm gonna do this, guys, I I need I honestly know. I need clear space. I need space in order to. To, to try and work on this thing. Yep. And also, <laughs> and also, I am going to need a copious amount of whiskey. It's the only way it works <laughs> for me. Go ahead and roll persuasion. <laughs> <clears throat> now, this is Six. going to. This particular persuasion check is going to include a negative two. Oh, four then. So four, still pass. Because it, there's something involved here. That still pass. The replicants step back. They just stand there staring at you. So you look at them, you notice that a few of them have guns. A few of them have axes. Some of them have knives, things that they're, they're more armed than the last time you encountered them. They stare at him in silence for a very long time. What are you guys doing? You, can, you haven't heard a word of this. You guys are watching through the corn. So you could you could you could see the scarecrow effigy thing. You could see vaguely the number of um, goons that are there, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. Is it, am I like 
in throwing distance of this scarecrow thing? No. No? It would be a hard shot. Okay. Should we try again? What's the max range Close. on your dynamite throw? Um, 3, 6, and 12 feet. 12 feet. Yeah, it's a bit outside. You're probably we, like 24 feet away. Should we? Okay. And that's. I'm assuming. I'm just assuming where you guys are. If you're not even in the cornfield, if you guys yeah, we we, there, we we want we would have assuming. So we want to try to sneak closer than I guess stealthily. Yeah. And so if you guys wherever from where you guys now, it's like 24 feet or greater. Can Duncan shoot from that range? Yeah. 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 Like so, like if I gave you a piece of dynamite, and stuck it in your gun. <laughs> Not how it works. <laughs> you shoot it, we explode. <laughs> you explode okay. the gun. Okay, so. No, yeah, that wouldn't work. No. Would this scarecrow thing have yeah, a head? It... Not from where you are. No visible, no visible head. Okay. So then I guess we would have tried to sneak closer. Okay. That's a stealth check from everybody. Is that okay? So we all want to sneak closer? Yeah. I, I want to get as close as I can. Wait, wait, wait. Before. I don't. Do you not want to sneak closer? No, I think sneaking closer is fine. I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think of like personally what would be a good position for me. With it's like difficult. The There's not much elevation. Yeah. The best elevation you probably could get is on the back of your horse. Mm -hmm. But that would also elevation above the corn. They'd see. Re rolling. You. Yeah. Okay. Four. Okay. Four. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna blow the cover. <laughs> You you might have said back to the range. You want to aim then? Can he aim at least? Yeah. Can I we'll, we'll say that you take the aim action through your scope. Yeah. From a distance. Okay. Just but there's like no head thing. You do like a call shot or a will bow. You could do a call shot. I mean, there's like a head, but you can't tell like what its shape is. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. But like, he has a call Unless shot for that. Are you head. looking at it through the scope? Yeah. It looks like. It's not like a shaped head. It looks kind of like a burlap hood. Um, then it's tied up in like a top knot, basically, of like hay sticking out of the top. But that's what it kind of looks like. Okay. So you're doing a whole, like, kind of hold action, like, aim thing right now. Waiting yeah. for it to shoot its head or something. You're waiting like for it. I'll wait for it, yeah, anything weird. Okay. I rolled an 11 for stealth. Very nice. And you rolled a... Four. That's okay. So that's... Well, thanks. Guess it's a not raise really. and a success. So you guys are mm -hmm. well hidden. Right, I will wait, say. How close are the horses? What's that? Are the you... horses like in the field with it us? Or are they like? Are they, 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 they would have been back a little bit more, right? Yeah. We we would have rode the horses. You would have rode them to the field, yeah. right? You would have left them probably on the edge. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. how? What's the range in your gun? Because uh, each range increment adds negatives to it. 24, 48, 96. So you could be 96 feet away with aim, and your scope would allow you to ignore all all penalties and still get a plus two. Okay. You took the aim action to hit. Okay, Because that's a negative four range penalty. Mm -hmm. But you could, if you're further than 96 feet, you automatically miss. Okay. So that's the maximum distance that you can be away. Okay. But, but you're 24 feet away, right? That's what you said? No, uh, you got you guys were, if he decided to be further back because he's using the scope, mm -hmm. I'm lying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Th that's fine. I just wanted to see if the horses were close enough in case we, like, if we need, like, an emergency, like, whistle and, and call them if they can, like, get to us in time or not. Mm -hmm. Well, if, depending well, on how far you away are, yeah. that could be possible. Okay. Let's strap dynamite up to George and just like <laughs> just <laughs> slap him on the ass. Yeah. He comes back to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll hang back. You can do their stealth rules. Yes. Okay, so they yeah, yeah they succeeded. Yeah. Okay, so they're so so, much closer. So how you? close are you guys? I want to get as close as I can get without being seen. Being seen, but also close enough to chuck a piece of dynamite. I'll say that you can get to the the maximum you can get is twelve feet away. That's okay. the closest you can get with that. Okay, that works. So, the raise is helpful here because eventually you both hear the sound of approaching footsteps. Mm -hmm. And a replicant 
moves through the cornfield, almost bumping into you. Oh, God. Oh, shit. That you managed to, like, you feel the corn go past his he <laughs> Stepping from the corn is another replicant with a big jug of something. Now, none of the replicants spoke to each other when you asked for the whiskey, and he puts it down in front of you. Are you presumably the leader of this group? All of the heads collectively go up to the scarecrow again. So he's the leader of this group, and you guys will be the We don't do gender protection. <laughs> 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 Uh, hey, listen, I'm fine with helping you guys out. I just, I'm just trying to look make up sense. and just say, heal mother. Mother? All right. And they back away. No problem. Like I said, I need space for this. <laughs> you just blast All right. I'd like to deal with the devil. Okay. On the gambling? On the gambling. Excellent. That is one raise. So when you I get a fifth card or a sixth card, you right? Get, uh, yes, you will draw a sixth card and you can discard one. So you take a moment, rub your hands together, and the world goes tunnel vision. Do I keep my jo- I keep the jokers, right? Or no? Jokers are wild. They can do whatever you okay. want. Any card you want. So, the uh, familiar dark black background and the well-dressed, mustached, familiar face. You got yourself in another spot of trouble, partner. Listen, my friend, I might have needed you before, and you didn't come through. But, I will say this time, I need you more. Now than ever. Well, let's be all the cards on the table, friend. I've got other individuals who also require my attention. So, why don't we play a hand? Do you want to cut the deck this time? Yeah, somebody yeah, cut the deck. Who wants to cut it? I think he wants to. I'll cut that. I'll shuffle. All right. <clears throat> oh, John, yes. I want you to draw a Benny, too. For earlier, okay. You guys said something about so show me some of your tricks. I, I caught that. <laughs> They're all Benny. All right. Oh God! Come on. What was this? Damn. Wow. This is not good. Once you're done, read them out so we know what you got. Seven, two. Five, Jack, two. So we got a pair. There's a pair. Uh, and the four is not going to help us at all at the end. So just a pair of twos. Well, a pair gives you two power points. What spell were you attempting to cast? Illusion. And that requires how many power points? Three. So. Yeah, that was a pretty bad hand. That's a shit hand. hand. Can't work every time. Is there anything that you can cast for two points? I don't think that's how it works. You can't oh, run. okay. You have to, like, call the spell before... Yeah, you have to call the spell. Okay. Oh. Um, so... Oh, didn't get enough power points. Wait a minute. Wait. Where do we have... What's the suit you all there? They, they're not gonna... So you're gonna what what um rank? It's a novice. So okay, that's it's good. It's a novice rank. So you now make spell casting with a minus one to the roll. To what? For what? For the whole roll. This is to see if you can still manage to cast the spell. So minus one because it's one extra power point. So. Oh, I can roll illusion, but my, with a minus one. It's a minus one, yes. Oh, okay. Alright, alright, alright guys. It matters if you try to cast a big spell. 
and fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. It's, it's, like if it's one of like the heroic ones or something. It's like minus that. one for each rank above your current rank that the spell is. So um, oh. I can obviously I can cast novice spells. Mm. Just fine. Oh, okay. Alright. <coughs> Don't fail me now. Fail. Let's go. Oh wait, no. Oh. I misread. No, you're fine. It's minus two for each rank the power is above your current rank. Plus an additional minus for each power point you came up short. So it's only minus one for this, but that could be disastrous. Damn. So what'd you roll? A four. That is a success. Okay. All right. Even with a terrible draw, still mm -hmm. a success. Well, it's a good thing you didn't try to go to fireball and then like, did you re-roll your gambling? No. Okay, good. Because you had already used it for the day, so. Yeah, sure. yeah I didn't re-roll. Okay. Yeah, he got a good roll first time. All right. So, this is what I want to do. I want to essentially cast out towards this effigy. Yeah. And uh, so basically this allows me, for those that don't know, this allows me to create a visual scene, a replica of anything the caster can imagine. It's silent, intangible, and incapable of affecting the real world. Okay. So, in, in, in my... So no noise. No noise. It doesn't okay. create noise. But if I was healing, that also does not create noise. Sure. So, I'm going to just kind of reach out as if I was, you know, beginning my casting of this, you know, healing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I reach towards him... And then a spiral of light just kind of go up and around the uh, the effigy, and then it just kind of like glows for a little bit. Okay. You get a little glow out of it. <laughs> and, do we see that too? Oh yeah. Everybody would mm -hmm. see it. Okay, I think that. What would we do in that case? Would we think he's healing all? Would that be like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has yeah, yeah, heal that doesn't look anything like his healing. Okay. All right. I feel like, like we would know he's 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 trying to heal. He, he just touches and the wounds close up. Okay, there's so no, there's no. The, what happens is when he touches, the wounds glow, and they've like never seen me wound. actually cast it, You're so right. they don't know what it actually. Ah, looks like. that's true. Right. So we're like, that doesn't look right. Okay. So that I, you know of. I mm. <laughs> shoot this out. The spiral of lights go up. It kind of does like a little bit of a glow. And obviously, at that point, immediately, nothing happens. You hear the sound of multiple hammers being cocked back on guns and the rustling of weapons. Oh, whoa, guys. Tricks. You have to give it time. Tricks. I've never tricks, brought someone tricks, back to, from tricks, death. Tricks, it's not tricks, a trick. Tricks. Heal, mother. That, you guys I, can hear them saying this. I don't know what else you guys you, want me to do. One of them grabs you and forces you right up to it. There we can't do it now. There Covers the hell we can. Puts its hand, his hand on yours, mm -hmm. and forces you to touch it. And the circle starts to close in. Guys, I can't work under these conditions. I, I'm trying. I'm trying. The heal mother, mother scarecrow, but I I don't know what you guys want me to do. I, I I've already casted the spell. Cast again. Are are any of them holding like a lantern? No. Okay. There's any, there's no lanterns or anything nearby. In, in previous encounters with them, you guys know that they can see in the dark. Okay. But our, how is our vision? It's not nighttime, it's, you said it's mid-afternoon, right? It's late, going, getting towards evening. Okay. Guys, it is extremely dangerous if I cast this spell. I can do it if you want me to do it, but you have to understand how these things work. If I cast this again, I could potentially absolutely kill this person, and there would be nothing I could do from that point forward. You have to let this give time. It's like medicine. Medicine takes time, guys. 
fine. Well, if you guys want mother to die, all right, fine. And listen, all right, I'll cast healing, no worries. What do you do? So I will tell you that if you don't deliver or do something to get out of the situation, they will turn hostile and attack you. As a dungeon master, that's they're at the edge now. This is the final chance you have before they attack. Do you have any other spells you can use to like run away? Fuck it. Guess I'm healing old mother. Sorry guys. Unless you can think of something. Hey, I, I, I thought I was gonna trick them with the illusion, but I failed. I failed. They I have can't. an ability that counters illusions. Oh. We gotta kill these motherfuckers. That's they what we gotta a, do. I was They're too shy, sure. but now he's right at the end. They have them. an ability well, where they share memories with each other. God. All right, you don't have like a protective spell against dynamite explosives or anything like that, because you know. <laughs> no, I can't, because I would have to know it. I can't deal with the devil anymore. I'm out of bennies. Damn. He oh, needs well. to have a benny to deal with the devil. Oh. He can deal with the devil the number of times he has bennies, but he can't do it anymore. All right. That's why. What if I threw a piece of dynamite? What if I threw dynamite somewhere else around the crowd? I was kind of waiting for you. If you want to throw dynamite at any time, go ahead. But go, just do it. Why not? It'll be fun. They're all there. Well, that's what I'm saying. But like, what if uh, we cause some sort of distraction? You know, give Cletus a chance to run away, and then I throw the dynamite. I chuck the dynamite at the um, effigy thing. Would that work? Do you honestly think that these individuals who share a collective hive mind intelligence are going to let every single person be distracted by something? I'm asking. Uh, no, no, no. I guess it's true. So if we throw it, does he get a chance to kind of evade? Or I will, I will give him a chance to mitigate the damage. But if you throw a stick of dynamite at him, you throw a stick of dynamite at him. I think he's just good for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's what's, a, what's, a, what's a chance to mitigate damage? I'll give you some sort. I'll give you an agility roll to see if you can tuck out of the way or something. But you're, if you're in the blast radius, you're in the blast radius. What if someone's in front of him? Doesn't just, matter. It's an no. AOE. Oh, I'd say if he heals this thing, it's going to be bad. I think that you know. I think he's already healed. Other. Hmm? They told him he's already healed other. Yeah, we'll be fine. Just, just throw it. What's the... Okay, so walk and think... You, you have to decide. You have to decide based on... And I don't know if you should decide based off of what Justin would do in this situation. Mm -hmm. I think you'd decide based off of what Justin would it. do. Um, knowing that in this world, this is a game, right? But for Jacques, it's not. Mm -hmm. And I'm only driving at this hard of a point because this is a situation where, like, in game mechanics, yeah, fucking throw the dynamite. Yeah. But right. <laughs> from a story perspective, you'd probably be killing Cletus. Mm. Which is an option if you think it's worth it. Well, it could save me a lot of money in the you don't. <laughs> but that's not that's not John's thing. John, yeah, John's you don't give a shit about that contract. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, not at all. Not at all. Um, hmm. I, I mean, you can heal, then we just start dying right after. That you could. What do you want to what? accomplish here? Kill this thing. I want to kill this thing. And you have to kill this thing now? I think it would be better to kill it now while it's weakened. I so mean, I... sure, there's a chance we can kill it after it heals it, but, like, it's going to be harder. I mean, you guys ready for a fight? Yeah, I'm basically just holding, because I'm not trying to, like, blow your guys' stealth. That's the only reason I haven't, like, done anything yet. Oh, okay. um, 
makes sense. And you, you're from where you are. You can't yeah. see them at all because mm-hmm. they're hidden in the corn. Mm. So you, if it helps, you don't know where they are at all. Is there one? Uh, that's like really roughing Cletus up. The one who's holding Cletus's hand uh-huh. on the effigy. Okay. Um, can I turn my aim to him? Sure. Okay. Absolutely. So I'm gonna train on him then. Yeah, you got it. Are you going for? If you want to take it, it's up to you guys. Whoever's gonna pull the trigger, but we could sit here and. So what are? What are you doing? Are you casting heal? Absolutely. So then that's what's happening. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. we've pussyfooted on it. Yeah, you know, no, I, I know. Use it. I get it. Yeah. Go for it. Sean goes for comfort food. Stress <laughs> <laughs> eating. I got a four. That is a success. Go ahead and spend the power points. Also, you would have gotten a rest on the cart, so that would have put you back to the maximum. Maximum. Max. Oh. 15 power points. So oh, okay. 15. So I was at 15, then I used three for illusion, and now it's Well, no, on. you use deal with the devil for illusion. You don't use your own power points. Oh, you don't, oh, no. oh, okay. So, so then just the initial. You're at 12. Point. Okay. That makes sense. Um, so could you use your own power points for illusion? No, he doesn't know the spell. Oh. So what is... What is healing? Three. Should be. Yeah, it's three, but I mean, um, what do I actually roll? Nothing, right? You already rolled your spell count. Oh, so, so I... It heals a wound. So, alright. I'm touching this thing, and... You watch as the, um... Magic... The, like, faint blue, teal, green glow comes off your hand and dissipates into the form. Instantly, the, uh, shape of these, like, leafy appendages starts to, like, almost, like, rehydrate. And... There's this cracking of like what sounds like wood. Sorry, guys. And the wooden uh, effigy s- kind of. S- and you watch through the scope, kind of out of the corner of the scope, this almost like a blood sanguine color comes up the chest through the throat and underneath of the hood, almost like a pulsating red color that looks like blood, but like a, like a sanguine, thick coloration. And you notice that the uh, hood sort of flares a little bit. And this weird scarecrow looking creature, almost like alien, Like, Aliens, the movie, like, kind of, like, rips two legs from the vines that were beneath of it and stands up off of the, like, the wooden cross that it's on goes up to about 11 feet high. Of course it does. (laughs) And all of the replicants look up at it, and it's sort of... Its arms are still kind of, like, stuck on the wood. They don't, like, fully bend. They're still kind of up like this. And it kind of looks down towards you. Anybody doing anything? Seeing this? You guys are watching. You guys are watching it rise above the corn. You're watching it. The other replicants are there watching it. Do you see away from the grass? Is he, like, still grabbing? He's azing. Well... He no, he wasn't really grappled. He was just holding his hand up. You, he's let go of your hand, but you're still within five feet of this thing. I am going to blend in like the replicant, stand and look at mother. <laughs> okay. Pressure <laughs> 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 my mother. Yeah. Okay. 
You can't throw the dino at us. Hope he just gonna go away. <laughs> so you watch as you feel this thing looking at you, the, the fight, despite the fact that it has no face or eyes, and the chest cavity sort of opens a little wider, and these like feeling plant-like tendrils come out, and it starts to lean down over Cletus. Can I? Can what I aim the fuck? at his chest? Yes. While I'm doing that. Okay. Yeah, you can. I want to. I guess I'm gonna. Fuck. What do you really? Damn it. Um. I, I. I don't know. I think upon seeing. Yeah, like you it, still have a. a yeah. It hasn't made an aggressive action, other than like it's leaning down towards you and like this cavernous chest cavity. Yeah. No. If I see these little plant tent tentacles like start start to come out towards me. Yeah. Uh. I think my immediate next move is to run under its legs into the uh, Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you watch as Cletus hits the ground and Moot runs. It gets one free attack on you as you run. So, but it's not like a grapple attack. It's just a free, it's just an attack. So let me bring up its stat block. Unless you don't move out of its combat range. Then you can just run to the other side of it. Move out of its combat range. <laughs> I mean, obviously I'm trying to run as far away from it as I can. So you can run, uh, you can move, and then roll a um, d6 and add the number rolled to the number, uh, like, just how many d6. spaces you can go. So it's, oh, with six, the wild? it's 6 plus 1d6, no wild. 6 plus 1d6, okay. So an additional 3. So you can move 9 squares. Alright. Put ready, distance right. between me and, me and him. Yeah. Where is the... I'd have my gun oh, and this. this fucking thing also. Yeah, like, hopefully. I'm like... Okay. What the fuck is that? It's going to roll its D10 fighting. D10. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Is it a wild? Yes, good. it is. Oh, God. What's your parry? Four. That was a 14. So that's... Well, guys, it was nice knowing you. One raise. So its damage for its fighting is... Let me just get my... Uh, strength. Hey, see, I'm going to start taking your buttons off. R.I.P., guys. R.I.P. Damage is 2d8. 2d8. Mm -hmm. I should have just died. <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. What's your toughness? Seven. So you are shaken. Oh. That's it. So it reaches out and slashes at you with this, uh, like, the, it has to kind of turn the whole body because of the wooden cross behind it. And you feel, like, the, uh, these sharp talons hit the back of your, uh, like, suit, but don't actually puncture. And you're uh, bruised, but you're shaken. That's it. You were aiming. Mm -hmm. You can take a shot if you want. I'm going to take a shot. Okay. And you have to hold until a combat initiative to throw a dynamite, because I'm kind of doing it in that way. So sure. go ahead and take a shot. This will be with a plus two to the roll. Okay. So it's shooting plus two. Is it a called shot, or is it just a shot? A uh, called shot to the chest. To the, the chest? The inside of the... So that... Would oh, and you saw it was opening? Yeah. Okay. Let me just make sure... Where's my called shots? I have it right here. I got them somewhere on here. I have it right here. Give me a second. Called shots. Limbs. Is it a vital? It says head or vitals minus or adds four damage. Is it a vital? Would you say that the chest is a vital? Uh, no, it is not a vital. Because it says hand, head or vitals, items, limb, unarmored area. Depends how big it is. I would say... Is it an unarmored it's area? It's an unarmored area. That has a question mark. <laughs> I will say... 
I'm just gonna go minus two, so straight roll. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna spend a penny. Okay. Oh, there you go. That counts. Uh, 12, 12. 10. 10? That hits. Is it a raise? It's a raise, too. That right? is a raise, so that's a your weapon's damage plus an additional d6. Sweet. So that's... Uh, is it plus anything with the cold shot with the... No, it has an ability that it is immune to extra damage from cold shots. All right. The thing you didn't raise know. So it's... And then an extra d6 on top of it, right? Yes. Okay. Well, wait. You got a 10? Yeah, it's one raise. Okay. Yeah. So that's... 12. 16. 16. Plus 1? Mm. Minus, minus 1. 15. 15. 15. 15. So it has a toughness of 5. So you hit it. Wound it twice. Nice. You fire a shot. Damn. <laughs> It shrieks no. in this loud, like, echoing shriek as it kind of falls backwards and uh, all of the replicants immediately shriek with it. Real quick. You I, healed, I only wound. healed one when I oh, healed it. How many wounds did it have yeah. before? It heals one wound. Uh, it was not technically wounded, oh, okay. it was suffering from a different condition. Gotcha. And the healing cured that. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Now, can we do other shots, too, now that we have... We are now going into combat initiative. I wasn't sure if we had to drop it because we were stealthy. You will on your turn. Gotcha. Okay. You too will. Oh! That's a good point. 15? You actually rolled a 19. On stealth? Because of the drop. Yeah. Oh! Mm. But you needed a 20 to do anything additional, so it doesn't change anything. Okay. So, it has two wounds and is shaken. Now we're going to change over the music to combat, and then we're going to place ourselves on the combat board. Isn't that exciting? Oh. So we, we almost so had exciting. a chance to kill him right then. If that would have instantly killed it if you got one If you one rolled one. Oh, 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 what? what? Wow! wow. So, does the sc <laughs> so for scope it says cancels two points of penalties? Is that only for aiming, or is that only while aiming? Okay, but no, it's, but the scope is only for the aim. It doesn't do minus two to the. It's not a yeah. It doesn't the modifier doesn't affect the damage. It only right? affects the hit. Gotcha. Okay, you were close, man. Yeah. If you're Real if close. you if you had a rifle that didn't have a minus one, mm -hmm. you'd kill it. Yeah. Wow, you were so close, man. Watch now, like yeah. more. Fun. Now it's just clean up. We're fucked. We're all gonna die now. No, it's just easy. We just, we just, uh, one more We damage. just do better. That's all. We'll just mm -hmm. do better. So, do we get yeah. to attack first in this, or no? No, you get to get dealed into initiative. I wasn't sure because we stealthy, so. Okay, gotcha. I'm, just, I'm giving you the drop. We'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I got yeah. I guess I just don't understand what the drop is till I'm, I'm The drop is you get a plus four to attacks. Gotcha. And plus four to damage. Gotcha. Alright, I see what you're saying now. Gotcha. But it doesn't mean you get to act first. At least I don't think it does. Oh shit. If you got a no, plus the, four to hit, would that have been another it would've given raise? You 19. No, but to hit, would that have been a raise? Another raise? We it's too late now, so you know we're gonna deal oh, with that. It would have been. But still, roll a D6. Oh! Two. Two. Let me make sure it doesn't have... That's that Phoenix right. <laughs> <laughs> That's that... I have dynamite. dynamite! Is this gonna be the quickest battle I can ah. Okay! <laughs> yep! You kill it! <laughs> no! <laughs> You guys lose out because you don't get to see the mini. Damn it! That's why I wanted to say, oh, no, we can't see. I was ready about to do something, but damn it! Nope, you don't get to see the mini. Oh, wow. Okay. Quickest battle encounter. No! <laughs> I wish I didn't say anything. I wanted to do something. Shit. Oh, you. You'll be fine. There will be other cool monsters. And remember, there's another one out there. We do yeah. fucking heal and shit, yeah. yeah. Fuck, I forgot about that. <laughs>
Alright, now so what do I, replicants I do like, now that they saw that right, their mother died? I feel like died. Well, that'll happen when I deal with initiative. So, I feel like... Yeah, we, we still gotta fight them. Yeah, I, I wanna get... I feel like we robbed mess of it. I wanted to give us cinematics of that fucking Yeah, shot, give us quick. a shot, Massa. Um... He sees okay, me running so, away. Yeah. So I'm holding on it, I'm like, I'm trained because I see that, like, Cletus is there, I'm holding the shot, holding the shot, and then as soon as I see, uh, him, like, start to make a break for it, it's like the slow, like, <laughs> that fire, like, you see the bullet, like, turn out of yeah. the chamber, and it goes, like, down through the, the corn thing, and, um, the, the field of corn, and then, uh, like, as... It's, like, just managing to, like, miss scraping him. It, like, hits into his chest and fucking, like, blows splinters out the back of yeah. him. Yeah. So, I'm just kidding. I'll show you guys. I like yeah. to imagine, like, he takes a shot and it hits a stuck of corn, right. and as it's falling, the bullet's coming in. Oh, it hits, it just explodes the guy. That thing's oh, 11 my. feet tall, too? Yeah. What Whoa. is this thing called? The Scarecrow. That's cool, dude. <laughs> this thing's awesome. So... We are going to place ourselves on the battle map. I'm going to put the battle plan in. Yeah. So were they pained too? Like, did they get, like, I don't want to say, like, Who they knows? got shaken, but, like... We're going to find out. Because you said they screamed. I just wanted so to... So you're know. off, off back. Yeah. So where exactly oh, it's are you, you in to relation to off back? I was... So, so where... <laughs> I think I was in... Cool. Where was the scarecrow and everyone? The scarecrow is going to be in the middle. Okay, in the cornfield? Yes. Okay, so... Do you have the mini? Yep, here we go. I guess I'm off. Which way would be we be coming in? So this is north. You proud them, I guess. This. I guess I'm like maybe down this way. So okay, I'm just gonna, gonna put your penny yeah. like approximately where you would be. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's is that fine right there? Yeah, that works. Okay. The scarecrow has fallen. Holy okay. shit! What a shot. So. Yeah. That's going to put you one. Which direction did you run? In towards, towards the cornfield. Just so, I didn't, because I don't know that they're there. So you, 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 you move nine spaces, right? Uh, yeah. I guess this way. Towards you? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll put you right there. Would Where you, are you two hiding? Honestly, he was running towards us because we would have been in that direction. So you too. would have been in that direction, but you guys would have entered the cornfield this way, and you were twelve squares away, right? Mm -hmm. So one, so you would, you guys would actually either be over here or over here. Now probably over here. Sure. Yeah. Uh huh. So you're one, two. You guys are here. Okay. Is that good? Yes. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. What a shot, dude. Uh, yeah, that was real. Yeah, it killed the boss monster instantly. Yeah. What a hell of a roll, too. Mm -hmm. That was very lucky. So and now I get what so What so. ended up making it get killed instead of being Because he things. had the drop, so it was plus four to hit. That plus four gave him an extra raise. We got an extra d6, so that's what helped. Because he got two raises, so it was two extra d6 along with his two d8. Oh. Yeah, he was incredible. Yeah, that was a very, very lucky shot. But it's good because there's still an army to deal with, so. I don't know, I don't know what excited. happened to that guy, so. Like that guy. I wonder if their mother gave. I, I thought, like, where's mother? <laughs> but I wonder if their mother gave anything to like help him now that he's gone. It's like. And you said that the thing wasn't actually dead, and I brought it back. I didn't just bring it back to life. It was just suffering from something else. So now that it's actually dead, hopefully that weakens some of it. And they reacted to it, you know, getting killed. By so, screaming in pain, so. Yeah. Who wants to be dealt in first? Me. Let's go! Oh, yeah, let's go. Very nice. You can redraw. Redraw. Redraw again. Mm -hmm. How many points can you, you can do? Redraw again. I can do it until I get uh, oh. over a six. Until you get something on once. Nice. Seven clubs. Parts. I can't wait to look at the king. Ten of clubs. Oh. I don't get to draw for the scarecrow. 
Jack Fuck. of Clubs. Uh, well, the replicants. Huh. So they only know about me so far, right? They don't even technically necessarily know where the shot came from. They just know we're here on off to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of so why. So spinning around, screaming in circles. Yeah, what's their reaction to get the, that thing dying? So they all howl up to the sky, bloody murder. Jesus. Technically, they think you shot it. Maybe you did. You did some like crazy witchcraft on it. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Now, the corn does affect them. Oh, I do need to deal one more card, actually. There was another one. Can I save me? Or did it? Because he thrust it up to you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There was another what? One, two, three, four, five. You can't get any closer. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, not the corn. Ah. Clear us of the corn. <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's one, two attacks on Cletus with no penalties. So I'm going to do those first. Actually, they get a plus one from gang up. Yeah. Eight. So it's two fighting rolls plus one. Two fours. What's your parry? Four. So that's... That's Six it. and seven, so no raises, so that's good. So they both deal 2d4 each. What's your toughness? Seven. You're sh shaken, but that doesn't matter because that doesn't hurt you. That doesn't hurt you either. Ooh. Oh, wait, plus one for getting up. Nothing. Nope. So they both try. They both try to get you. Unfortunately, they can't get you. These guys, this these guys are going to make attacks. But I'm going to give you a uh, plus one to your toughness. I mean, a plus one to your parry because of the corn. So it's harder to hit you in the corn. Oh, two ones. Not now. Nah, I'm gonna spend some bennies. I got a lot of them. I'm gonna spend two bennies. What's this for? To roll again. For See, the, the, the next no. row of guys attacking. Oh, another row. Yeah, <laughs> on the other side of the corn, there's two guys. Oh my god. Yeah, you have like a bunch of people chasing you, so Justin, just like chuck that dynamite in the very back, see if we can get some out of there. Nah, couldn't get you. Well, what's the game plan here? Now that we defeated this thing, are we running? Nah, just to throw dynamite. Are we, are we killing everybody over here? Like, what are we doing? Because I'm thinking against. I might just throw a match and just set the corn on fire. The next... Situation is referred to in D and D terms as a lair action. Oh um, God! No. What's that? Oh, <laughs> right. This is your first lair action. <laughs> I have no idea. What this shit's is. shit's gonna get wild, guys. So, for those of you who don't know, a lair action is a situation where a boss monster gets an extra turn based on when fighting in its lair. Although the scarecrow is dead, its lair action is still active. However, I rolled a one, so. One additional enemy spawns in the field. Uh oh. Oh. Well, like I said, I'm going to set this field on fire. That's my plan. Okay. On we go. That's going to take us to. Oh, and it, and it takes its turn. It has an ability where it disappears into the corn and reappears. <laughs> what? Like I said, what is that? This it is now. called a corn stalker. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets to make its attack with a d6 against Cletus. Oh! No, not, uh, no nothing. 
Jesus Christ, all right. We're okay, that's the end of the turns. Three times. That takes us to the Ten of Clubs. All right. Dynamite, because so, dynamite would... do. I imagine it would take way too long to spread. That's not going to do anything. You think dynamite so? Dynamite does not create fire. All right. Dynamite is an explosive. It's explosive. But how long would it take for the fire to spread? That's the thing. You have a Molotov, though. You have a Molotov. Do that. There you go. No match. Fuck that yeah. Molotov. So... My thinking is, is that I know I would say that it would spread one square out per round. Okay. So I know Clint's with me. I know that Duncan is... Like, we're in the same spot, right? Yeah. Me, I'm going to ro- rotate it for you so you can see exactly where... Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So I know Clint's with me. I know that Duncan's a distance away. And I know that Cletus is running. So... Ooh. Cletus is within... Five, uh, five, six, twelve. Cletus is within like fifteen feet of you. Okay, so if I yell, he'd hear me. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. All right, so I'm gonna take out the Molotov. I'm gonna tell Clint, I'm like, let's burn the field down, and start. I want to start running. Should I move first before I? Throw or no, no, no. Well, you throw you, first. Move. You gotta tell right. me everything that you're gonna do on your turn, and that determines the next. Okay. Games. All right. So I want to tell Clint what I told him. I want to um, move back towards where Duncan is and the horses, and I want to yell to um, uh, Cletus to make a run for it, and I want to throw the Molotov. Okay. So I'm just setting up battle cams. Yeah, no, that's fine. I think it'll be more visually pleasing. Do you want to throw it first when you're closer before you're getting too far away? So yeah, probably, I should probably throw it first. Yeah, yeah throw it first. So what was, do you remember what the uh, damage size for that Molotov was? Um, I think it was a small blast radius. No, with the, this one was a bigger, the smaller one was the dynamite. The Molotov was bigger because it spread, I thought. No, the smaller one was if we were using the firework. I think it was like a medium blast or something, because I know the dynamite, it was the dynamite, then the Molotov, and then like the fire, the firework. I'm going to say it's a small, because this is a medium blast template, and I don't quite realistically see a Molotov doing that. that that's what no, we that's probably no, not. No, that was the medium. That's what we used back in the house. It took up the entire floor. What's the small one? Realistically, that seems more like it's what a probably, Molotov. Yeah. Would be, right? Okay. I thought we used that. You no, know, that's fair. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I did. It will literally make it out of just alcohol. It will set fire to the um, the corn. The corn. Like, okay. Guaranteed. Uh, so where are you throwing it? Whereabouts? Uh, not to hit Cletus. Yeah, not to hit Cletus. So probably a little further over. Okay. Tell me about there. Yeah. There. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm gonna put it right there for now. Okay. So how much damage does it, I sent you? Um, I think it deals two d six, right? I sent you everything for the guy. Yeah. You also have scavenger now. Mm-hmm. So you could you you could use that in this encounter. Yes, I'm going to. This. Since this is his first act, does he get the drop or no? You do get the drop to this. Yes. You get oh. a plus four sure. to the attack roll and the damage. I completely forgot to. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Let's sweet. go us. And thank you for the reminder. That's what I do. See, it takes a little bit, but I, I'm trying to figure it out. So that's what I'm asking. We're all trying to learn the rules. Mm-hmm. It's almost like it's the point of our show is to learn different tabletops. Oh. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Oh. You, know, you know what they call that? Brand synergy. That's what that is. We're really optimizing our core strengths. <laughs> yes, it is 2d6. Okay, so it's 2d6 plus 4 for this roll. Okay, sweet. But does he have to roll to hit first? Or yeah, you roll throwing. Okay. And then if you get any raises, is that your d6? Gosh. It is, yes. Let's go. So it's throwing plus 4. Mm-hmm. Plus wild die. So throwing plus 4... Uh, eight. Eight total? Yeah. That is a hit with a raise. Okay. So Next go ahead D6. and roll three D6 <laughs> plus four. Nice. Uh, 
Nineteen. Nineteen. That's with the plus four. The replicants are shaken. Oh, they're not wounded. They have a toughness of eleven. God. And they have an ability that allows them to. You have to deal a thirty-three to a replicant to shake and wound them in a single attack. Oh my God. Wow. Well, okay. Sure. There, there are balances to this. They're not very strong, and they don't have high offenses. Mm-hmm. But they can take hell of damage. I don't think we're going to be able to kill them. We might want to run. <laughs> so, this area is inflamed. These two guys are shaken. Now, Vampire. now that they're shaken, they can be wounded. The damage isn't as high anymore. Now, mm-hmm. to wound them, it's an 11. Okay. Cool. Instead of a 33. So now that those two guys can be wounded with an 11. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I get it. I get you now. That's when they're not shaking. I see. Yeah, when they're not shaking, mm-hmm. you have to deal 33 damage to them to wound, the shake and wound. Gotcha. But I now see. that they're shaken, you just have to do 11. I get, I get, I get it now. I get okay. it. Cool. So, um, you still, uh, you had movement that you wanted to do. If you're taking yeah, no I'll other move back towards Duncan. Okay. And I'll yell Tell me where to stop. Um, one, two. You can move through Clint's space because yeah, you want to move as far as I can. Four. What do you yell at Clint? Five. I'm yelling. Six yell. would be towards Duncan. Mm. Now Duncan's not there. He's like right, right. real far away. Mm. Okay, that's gonna take us to the Nine of Hearts. Your turn. Me? Um. Oh, I'm just wanna say I did yell at Cletus to you know. Okay. Let's yeah. go. Okay, do I cool. see anything in the area or around you? Yeah. You can kind of see these guys through the corn. Can I take a shot before running away? You know what? I put... What did you roll for throwing? For throwing? Uh, eight. I gave the replicants a minus one for the corn. Okay. So I'm going to apply the minus one. And it doesn't matter because it just would have taken the dice away, so... It would have taken a d6 away, which... What did you roll? Do you remember? 19. 19. So it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. Still so matter. No, nothing matters what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take a shot before going away. Okay. Well, you can you can shoot while moving. What matters is if you're taking more than one action. No, because we're getting out of there, so I'm going to take a shot at the one that like looks like it's on fire. Okay. So that would be this guy. What's the range in your pistol? Your Gun hands? Yeah. Which is one shot before it has to be reloaded. Uh, 12. 12 total? That's the only distance? Well, 12, 24, 48. Oh, then you're good. So this, uh, the minus one cancels out your trademark weapon, so it's just a straight roll. Right. Okay. And then it's plus four with the drop. You still have the drop, yes, because they don't know you're there. And shooting is okay. Five, nine. Oh, minus one. Eight. So that's a hit and a raise. Yep. So that's 2d6 plus 6. Does trademark weapon include damage? I have plus 2 after it, so it should. I have the damage 2d6 plus 2. That's from your pistol. I think you you said it was the range of my pistol. Yeah, no, but like, do you have the uh, actual description of trademark weapon? Uh, Just to make sure, because I want to make sure you get all the damage. I have to look it up because I don't have that thing here. Sorry. No, no, I just want to make sure you get all the damage for this attack. Trademark weapon. Fighting or shooting rolls on a plus one pair of It does not add plus one to damage. Just to hit. Okay. So you're... What kind of gun do you have? Say again? What kind of gun do you have? You told me the pistol, right? Or the gun hand. Yeah. So that's a Derringer. Sorry, everybody. Derringer, 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 Derringer. It's 
So it should deal two d. The gun hand should deal two d six damage. Then the plus one is the trademark weapon. But trademark weapon doesn't add plus one to damage. Okay. It's plus one to hit. So it should be just two d six. Gotcha. Okay. I may I may have misspoke. Okay. It could That's be it. I'm gonna erase that one then. But so it's but it's if, either way you're dealing three d six damage. Okay. Gotcha. Because you got erased. 3d6, but no pluses. After. No pluses, yeah. But plus four, right? But plus four because of the drop. 3d6 plus four, then. That's yeah. what I'm doing. Gotcha. All right, I'm getting it. My mistake. Okay. It could have been on me. Oh, he is super dead. Let's see this. You better keep up with that. Damn. 18. Uh, 18. What's plus 20? 27, 31. 31. <laughs> two wounds, and they can take an extra wound, so he's dead. Okay. You fire the gun hand, aim true, and blast right through his head. Holy shit, dude. And the nice. flaming corpse falls down to the ground, and you're also running? Yeah, I'm like, fucking get, get this out of here. <laughs> you could go further than he can go if you want. One, two, three... That's three spaces. Yep. Keep going? Yes. Four, five, six. Do I see um, him? Do I see Duncan? Yeah, he's... Oh, Duncan? He's, like, more than... Like, he's, like, 90 feet away. Okay. He's in the distance. Okay. So he can keep... He can cover you guys from there. Mm-hmm. You're running um, back to the horses, I guess. Yeah, you're running back towards him, which I guess the horses would be somewhere by you. Um... So yeah, that's gonna take us. That's the end of that. It's your turn, please. No, that's, um, that's my turn. Oh, oh you yeah, were seven. seven. You were seven. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Thank you. So it's now your turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, now you've used aim already. Mm-hmm. You have to use aim again to get the benefits from it. Um. So I see them coming, like like running out of the the field and like all the commotion. So I'm gonna whistle for the horses. Okay. That doesn't take an action, does it? Would it be animal handling or something? I would say it would be riding. Okay. To call for them. I would say that would be an action. Okay. Um, So I'll... You could take more than one action. It just is a minus two to all actions. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, the the order. But I guess the order I would do it to them. I basically want to, like, call the horses and then, like, watch the area that they're running out of to, like, if, if someone comes out, I can shoot at them. So you can... So it would be like hmm. calling the horses and then basically taking an aim action on like an area. So the aim action, you have to, if you don't move or take any other actions, you can aim. Okay. That's the catalyst of aim. But what you can do is you could call the horses and then hold a shot try to interrupt somebody else's action if something happens, but that shot will be at a negative two. Okay. Um, I think I'll do that. Okay, so you call the horses, roll riding neck minus two. He doesn't get the drop right now for uh, that attack. No, no, he's like, I got the drop. Just just making sure. Just making sure. Well, that's out. There you go. Um, Five. Five Five total. So the horses, um... Instantly, they, they start running towards you, you know, they're on their way, mm-hmm. and you can now hold the shot, you're going to try to interrupt somebody's action, so when that happens, or if, you, because you could choose not to if mm-hmm. something doesn't decide to trigger it, uh, but you will roll an agility against their agility with a minus two, and then you'll make a shooting roll minus two if you succeed. Okay. Because you're trying to interrupt their turn. Right. Now we draw. Who's being drawn in first? Uh, Cletus has to take his turn now. Yeah, oh shit, yeah. You're six of hearts. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm running. Towards towards the direction that I heard Jock yelling, and I didn't know why I heard him, but I was running towards him. Because I killed one that would have attacked him, because it was the closest one, right? No, you said the one that was on fire. Okay, I didn't know. Gotcha. So, So that would be... I did my best. One... Let's see, what's the least attacks you can take? One... All right, you're probably gonna take another two. You're getting three attacks no matter which way you go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the furthest you could go. 
taking the least number of attacks. If you roll a running die, you can go further, but that adds, adds minus two to all actions. Wait, all right, back that up, say it one more time. You have a D6 running die. Yeah. You can roll it and add it to your movement, but it adds minus two to any actions you can take. It's not an action. Oh, on this turn. On this turn, yeah. Do you have but I could choose to also just not do an action. Yeah. yeah. Is there any spells you can use to help you get away? Trinkets can be used to summon a gun. Hmm. But I think you have a dare. I do have a gun. So. Um. All right. Um. Can you use trinkets to summon gasoline. Probably. Would that work? That's not something you can do. So technically, yes, but not a lot of gasoline. No, only a whole lot. Can you use it to summon the, another Molotov? I think the limit is two pounds. Uh, two pounds so of gasoline. I, there we go. I don't know if I'd be able to. Run more, summon gasoline, and then also subsequently throw it. Hmm. That would be two actions and a run. So it would be possible it would all be at minus six. Yeah, you should just run. Yeah, just run. I'm just going to run towards. Okay, go ahead and roll running guy. And then I will roll the attack. Three more. And you're shaking anyway, so. <laughs> Great. You couldn't take any actions without unshaking. Wait, can I roll to try to unshake? Yeah, go ahead, roll. What it? What is Figure. it? Figure. Forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Well, don't think I'm gonna get unshaken with a two. So. so you remain shaken. So either way, you could still run. So that's all you can do with your turn until you unshake. Who's being dealt in first, lads? Uh, you know, just Me. Turn, turn order. Let's go. This is gonna be going right here. Oh, this could be King of Hearts. Kingdom Hearts, let's go. I'm gonna redraw all this time. Oh. So That's the so good. Spades is pretty good. Cletus, you're, you're, you're gonna get the best one right here. Never mind. Not bad initiatives all around. Yeah, they do. Damn! Are really nice. But they're gonna get a shit one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are they drawing so much? They get two. Oh. The lair and the enemies. Oh. King of Hearts is first. No, it's not. Ace. Ace of Clubs is first. Okay, I'm gonna keep running. Okay. Yeah. So did Cletus catch up to me? He's right next to you. Okay, I look over to him. I go, "Nice work out there, man. <laughs> Can you throw any more shit? <laughs> great job, great job." Yeah, see, there he is, right next to you. Yeah, and I'm gonna keep running. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna run ahead of him. Like, great job, great job. <laughs> keep Get moving. good. Go to the horses. <laughs> Are you throwing yeah, gonna... anything else, or? Um. I have any more Molotovs or no? No, I, don't I, don't like. I had, that was my last Molotov. But also, the uh, fire is going to deal damage to that. It's going to spread this turn on the lair action. I say, mm -hmm. I'll say it well. What about? Um, yeah, I'll throw a stick of dynamite towards that way too. Oh, this, at the dynamite! So this is the biggest clump of dudes. Okay, yeah, I'll throw it there. So this is how many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine squares. Damn. So that puts the throw at a minus two. Um, you got a Benny for this. You can do okay. it. Yeah. You got oh, a Benny. sorry. Minus four. You got this. Oh. You got this. I believe in you. I believe in you. Unless you stay there and take the action to aim. But hey. they're going to take their turn and move closer. Right. But that gives you a plus four to hit. Up to you. Right. Just keep running. Or he doesn't uh, move as far. Where, how? Yeah, if I don't move as far, does that change anything? It could. It could change how far they're gonna get. Right. Um. Okay. How far can I move without not taking so many negatives? One, two, three, four, five, six. You can move off the board. Okay, if I move off the board and still throw the dynamite, it's still negative four. You can't even hit that far. So we're saying, like, how close does he have to be to get nine? Twelve feet. And how close, how far is twelve feet away? So you said I'm nine. Oh, sorry, twelve squares. Right, so you said I'm currently nine squares away from yeah, him, right? where you were. Okay, so if I move three squares and throw, is that at a negative or anything? No, that'd be exactly at twelve. Right. That would be a negative six. 
I guess I'm just Matt. What's the range on here? So twelve feet. Three. That's oh, that's the range. max range. What's the shortest? That's what you The say. shortest range, okay, is three. Okay. okay. What's, the two, what's three? What's the one in the middle? Six. Six. So it would be a negative two where you are now. Okay. okay. And then if you move to 12 feet, it's at a negative four. Okay. So, so right two currently, down. it's at a minus two. Sorry, that was my bad. I no, get it. That's fine. All right. Um, do it. You got this. You know what? I guess I'll stay where I'm at and I'll throw it. Okay. I mean, you could technically go... Three, six, twelve. Mm -hmm. So one. You could get closer. I could, could one, one, two, three. One, two, three. Still wouldn't be very far. Yeah, just th just throw it and then run. <laughs> yeah, I mean, can I do that? Just throw just it and run. Count again how far away you are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, that's minus two. Yeah, that's minus two right there. Just throw it and run. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll throw it and run. Okay. So, go ahead and roll. Are you running or are you Walk, just moving? Moving. Just moving. Okay. I get it now. I get the difference. So, I'm rolling throwing first, right? Yeah. This is my last Benny. <laughs> I'll take it. There we go. Okay. okay. So, I got a four. Throw. That's a hit, yeah. Okay. And damage is 3d6. Yeah, go ahead. Alright. Seven. Seven, unfortunately, is not enough. That was a bad roll. That was a very bad oh, roll. Seven, seven across to all three of them? Yeah. Wow. Damn. Yeah. So, so seven th damage doesn't do anything? I had a toughness of 11. Damn. You throw the dice. You throw the yeah, dynamite into the out there, and it. And while it does damage them, you see that like bits of like chunks of flesh come off of their faces and, and backs and stuff. They all just turn over to look at you. And Is a corn destroyed? Yeah, there's like a blast radius amongst the corn. Is it still on fire? Yeah, I would okay. say it wouldn't put out a fire. It's gonna spread it a little bit, yeah. so. Sorry. Well, hey. And you can move your so full distance and get off the board. If yep, you want. I'm moving. Yep. See ya. See ya. <laughs> uh, now it's Kate Parts. Uh, I can't do anything. I'm going to. You can reload your gun hand. Yeah, I'll reload my gun hand and then I want to aim. So you can't okay. if you're reloading. Gosh, okay, um, I'll just reload then, and I'm gonna wait for Cletus. Okay. You're waiting for him? Cause he's I mean, right I can... there. Oh, he's gonna be off the board. I'm gonna be off the board then. I'm gonna run off the board. Okay. I wanna get out of there. Okay. Ten of spades. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's their turn. Queen of clubs. Uh -oh. It's their turn. Two, three, four, five. You can attempt to interrupt him now. Because this guy's going to make an attack. Um, yeah, why not? Go ahead and roll agility against his agility. <sighs> is, there, is there a wild die? There is a wild die. It's at a minus two for you. They have low stats, so... The only thing they are really is tough. That's it. You don't have high stats. I'm spending a Benny. Okay. Shit. There, there you go. Minus two, you said? Yeah. Uh, four. That beats him, so you get to go first. Okay. Shooting minus two. Um, and if you manage to shake him, he can't take his action. He has to try to only shake him. Do I spend my last Benny? I'm sure, sure. Why not? You want to shake him? Yeah. I'm going to spend my last Benny. You got this. Oh, there we go. There it is. Nine. Minus two? Ah, uh, not for damage. Okay, it's a nine. Wait. So, nine and, uh... No, you were aiming, weren't no, you? No, I'm doing a shooting roll. Is that yeah, shooting am I aiming, to hit. Or aiming or rolling damage? You have to shoot to hit first. But he okay. wasn't aiming, so... So it's shooting minus two. So what'd you roll? So nine minus two, so I rolled a seven. Seven is a hit. Okay. So you hit him, now you roll damage. There's okay. no minuses to damage. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. 
So eight minus one is seven, but I have champion, so I deal plus two. He is not a, technically a supernaturally evil creature. Gotcha. It worked on the, against the Ana Brothers. Mm -hmm. These do not count as supernaturally evil. Interesting. Mm. Okay, so I rolled a seven then. Unfortunately, he is not shaken. Although you hit, okay. the bullet passes through him and he seems to ignore it. Gotcha. Uh, he's go now going to take his attack roll. Oh. oh no. Five. That was uh, not great. Uh, what's your parry? Four? Mm hmm. That's okay. So I roll 2d4 damage. Five. That does not beat your toughness, so you're good. Hmm. Jeez. One, two, three, four. Five, so these six. things are below this eventual die out, right? Now that mother's gone? Oh, we need to worry about other. What the hell that means? Other mothers? Six. Other mothers. Yeah, other mothers. Other mother. Brother from another mother. Oh, six. That's the third one. <laughs> his mother, other, and his brother, and the other mother. Going to use its corn stalk ability to teleport forward. Oh, right, they have that forward. Shit. One. One, two, three, four, five, Jeez. six. Three, two. The, the, the cookies are so no, good. Come on, man. One, yeah. two, three. Oh, I'm good for now. I'm going to myself. Two. I already have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your face is just like full chocolate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sweet, sweet chocolate. You're gonna get two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who? Me? Oh. Trust me, you underestimate my running ability. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah. You know it. I'm not even attempted to attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How do you get so close? He's They're all dangerous. rolling one running guy. Two, three, four, five. So they get a minus seven, two to their attack, right? All of them that did, yeah. Nine, ten. All nine of them. Oh, so, RP guys, that's nice. One, two. He rolled it, he doesn't get an attack. So normal attack, normal attack, not a normal attack. Uh, so two of them are getting a negative two to their attacks, you're getting three other attacks. Um, one, two, three, four, five gang up bonus. So that's 1d6 for the corn stalker. 10, 15. Your parry is a four. So that's two raises. Three raises. See you guys later. Or not. 46 damage. Absolutely. Wait, for what? The corn stalker? Yeah. Oh, they, I forgot. They hit very hard. They're not the same. They're, they're a bit different stats, Brad. Right. Terrible, terrible roll. Oh, thank Awful God. roll. Uh-oh. I'm going to spend it, buddy. Fuck. All right, see you guys later. See you guys later. Up now. Same roll. <gasps> one what? more, One more damage. Not going to spend another, buddy. Four. Damn. Seven. Um, four, five. What's your toughness? Seven. Eleven. So you're wounded. Oh wait, because he, he's not shaking it. Is, was he? He is shaking. Was he shaking before? Yeah, he didn't unshake. Uh, so you what is the what is the plus two do again in the in the toughness? What does that mean again? That is actually a minus two from your armor. You get an additional plus two toughness from a piece of armor that you're wearing. That's what that means. No. So if you were to take that armor off, your real toughness is a five. Oh, I got you. Mm. Um, you can attempt to soak damage, but I don't think you have any bennies. No, I'm sorry. See, that's one wound. Plus five. That hits. See you guys later. Have a good one. 
Three damage. Nothing. Oh, okay. Just spend another damage. Just kidding. Just kidding. Four, four damage. Not over so it's over. You're right, you're right. He's not going to spend another one. This guy uh, is has a minus two to his. Getting close. Oh. Okay. Get the fuck out this guy has a minus two. Not even close. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. Minus two. Not even close. All right. Jeez. You have one wound. The gang up bonus. Oh no, that was your parry. Those would have all hit. You all right, see, see, see you guys later. <laughs> see you later. I'm dead. I'm dead, guys. That was nice. You don't know? Three? You may have that. No, no, you parry no, no. seven, so. It was nice knowing you guys. It's yeah, his toughness is seven. But they get minus two, right? Not to their damage. And if I keep rolling awful, they're not going to hurt him. Last one. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, see. Eight. You take an additional wound, but that's all they managed to do. Oh, okay. I guess I'm still here. This. I'm still here. I'm still here. Can you heal yourself? I can. It's your turn. Okay. Uh... You see, they all just sprint out of the corner and start swarming him. They're just like tearing at his clothes, like trying to pull him down. So, are the horses there yet? Yes, they would have run up. Okay. So. I have a uh, loyal loyalty hindrance. All right. I'm gonna <sighs> jump on George and I'm gonna race over to try to save him to like try to pull him up on the horse. Okay. Grab him by the hand. What is the speed of your horse? He is. Oh my god. Um, save me. What would we have to go back to that whiskey bottle? Twelve. 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 Oh, pace. Pace is twelve, and I have fleet-footed, which is plus two increased running die to D eight. So that means you could move twelve, and then roll a D eight, and move add that to your pace. Okay. So that would be. Yeah. So go ahead and roll twelve. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Roll a D eight. But that's cocked. Yeah, you have to re-roll that. Yeah. That's cocked. It landed like exactly I trust diagonal. You. Yeah, I trust you. Oh, let's go! It's an eight. Uh, you don't reroll. Right, okay. Uh, for eight, this, so eight. it's you move twenty squares. How you were? Well, is it plus two? It says plus two, right? Well, so it's three footed pace plus two increase running the eight. So that'll be twenty two, right? Yeah, it would okay. be. So yeah, it's twenty two squares. So you uh, move twenty two squares closer. You're ninety away. Okay. Uh, but you're on your way down there. Mm -hmm. Um. So if he runs towards you, you might be able to pick him up. Um, you can still shoot if you want to. It's just how many added. feet are in a square? One foot, right? Well, you're moving. Oh wait, no, that's a, that's a really good point, actually. Six oh, feet. that is a very good point. Let's, so then he's let's actually figure, should catch up. Yeah. Let's figure that yeah. out. Oh yeah, you get there easy. Okay. Um, so, which one was George again? George is the um, the one on the the yellow one. Okay. The Matt Damon one. Mm -hmm. if you're able to get here, and you have additional movement that you can go. Um, I need you to make an athletics check to pull him up on the horse, and I need you to make an athletics check with uh, your wounds. As well. Now you only need one success between the two of you. Part of the cards. That's a four. That's a success. So you don't even need to roll. I, want to, I just want to roll just Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Let's see what you get. Oh, now, now I'm going to crit fail and it's going to cancel <laughs> it all out. <laughs> what? Just carry your arm off. <laughs> I got it. He, he, Duncan rides up, shoots him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hang on. Wow, oh. hang on. All right, eight, nine. Nine well, minus. I will say that that would count as a raise. So I'm but now, no, but he got wounded by two, so it'll be a five. So, wait, no. You wounded two. by two. You have so two wounds, so it's so minus four. Oh, minus, minus four. Minus two. Minus two. Wounds is minus one per wound. So I'm at seven. Yeah, gotcha. Seven, okay, so it is hmm. not a raise. It's a success. So I will say with two successes, you're not going to take any attacks of opportunity. 
So they, he, you pull him up on the horse and fucking buck out of Sal. Sal. You, you wheel around on your cowardly horse. <laughs> Thank and God. He's freaking the fuck out. Out of there. Gotcha. Your horse is oh, yo. I love you, man. You're the greatest. As you guys are running away, oh, so gotcha. let's get the cinematics of this. As you guys are running towards him, you guys see Duncan come tear ass and down on George. Just hauling ass back down. So before that, I'm going, me and Jock are getting all hours. I'm saying, so it looks like you're not going to pay that shit bag any more money. You know, that's good for you because he's going to fucking die. <laughs> and then we see him run back. And I go, actually, wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you still owe me money. <laughs> oh, man. Cletus. Uh, you hear the pounding of the hooves as he pulls up to you. Um, what happens? Like, you guys say anything to each other in this moment? He, he he's, you, you're like, there's ten dudes in a pack coming up to you. And suddenly, the pounding of hooves and <laughs> coming in. What do you know? Help me! Help me! Uh, I, I, that's really all I could okay. probably say at that point. I just, oh, get on! I just grab him by the arm and, like, kind of, like, yeah, yank him up on him. Yeah, George, fight, like, re raise up as, like, three of them are coming after him. But yeah, then he, like, and then, like, like, it's like fucking uh, World War Z. Like, they're clawing at the back of George. Yeah, and he, like, him. comes down, like, yeah. knocks two of them down, and then He's, starts, like, like, being piled on, down. you reach and grab him by and just, like, pull yeah, it out. Yeah, and like, kick just, one yeah. off. Ride it, and you turn around and up ride out of there. Mm -hmm. um, they are not giving up that easy. Oh, no. So they are mm -hmm. just chasing after you. They cannot run as fast as a horse. So you guys have a head start. You'll get to your horse first. Okay. Um, do you, and you both jump on his horse? Yeah. Okay, so you guys are riding back to town. The chase? Is it chase um, now? There is... No, they can't catch a horse. Okay. But there's bullets... Whizzing past you guys as you go. Oh, Wait, bullet. don't don't I get a turn? Yeah, what do you want to do? I want to heal myself. Okay, go ahead. All or right. Spell casting. Uh, let's see here. Where is my? There it is. Five. So that's a success. So you heal one wound. All right. Woo. Woo. So I just kind of like. Just put my arm on my chest and exert a little bit of energy toward yeah. towards my body and, you know, feel slightly better. Yeah. So you guys are, you guys are, you have distance, you're riding. Anything you guys want to say to each other or is that where we end tonight's episode? I'm going to say, yo. Jock totally hit you in the back of the head when we were trying to walk the plane. I tried to stop him. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, surely you don't believe that, Cletus. <laughs> well, then what did happen, Jock? I'll explain when we get back to um, the uh, station. For now, let's just focus on getting away. I find out one of you fuckers put me in this situation. Hey, we saved your life. We got the big thing. All's good. The point is, you you performed excellently, Cletus. We're gonna now you're making it sound like it was you. <laughs> like I said, we'll explain as soon as we get back to the station. <laughs> Don't look at me. I was just trying to learn some magic tricks. Uh, yeah, you're, 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 you're a cool Yeah, dude. and we were like in a like, face little face You're a cool dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's a good enough place to end. I think that was a... We fought a boss monster? Dude, that was cool. Mm -hmm. So, we'll, all right, we'll, we'll talk about this after. because I'll. I'll yeah, we're going to end a little bit early tonight. Let everybody get some sleep. Um, if you're watching... Enjoy your holiday, stay safe.